Hello everybody, and what on earth is that little button on the bottom of your camera? Hello everybody and welcome to Explained, and today I'm going to explain to you what this very button is. Now this button is called the Depth of Field Preview button, so you might ask, what is it for? Now you may probably have guessed that this button grants you some magical ability to preview your Depth of Field judging by the name of the button, but more than likely you've probably pressed that button yourself and realised that nothing at all has happened. Now by default, the depth of field preview button does absolutely nothing if you have your aperture set to the widest aperture setting of your lens. So in this case, I have a 50mm 1.4 here. So if I set it to f1.4 and I press that button, nothing is going to happen at all. But if I use a smaller aperture, such as f8, and then I press the button, you're going to hear a little brushing noise coming from your camera. And if you look through the viewfinder, you'll notice that the image actually gets darker. That's actually your aperture diaphragm closing down to that aperture that you've just set to. So basically, by pressing the depth of field preview button, it closes down the aperture diaphragm of your lens to the aperture setting that you've dialed into your exposure settings. So the idea is that you get to look through the lens at that specific aperture. That's why the image darkens and you get to preview the depth of field that you would get with that aperture. But why does it only stop down the lens when I press that button? Don't I already have it set to f8 or f11 or whatever? Now the way DSLRs work is that the aperture diaphragm of the lens is always wide open until during the actual exposure. That means the lens aperture only closes down when you actually take a picture. At any other time, the lens is wide open to give you the brightest possible preview image through the optical viewfinder. However, using the depth of field preview button to preview the depth of field through the OVF of your DSLRs is actually a tiny bit counterintuitive because the viewfinder in DSLRs simply weren't made to replicate depth of field accurately. So if you actually want to preview the depth of field you would get at a particular aperture, it actually makes more sense to use the depth of field preview button in live view. When you toggle into live view and you use the depth of field preview button, the depth of field you see in your preview is exactly what you're going to get in the final image. And the preview image doesn't necessarily get darker in live view because the camera compensates for the loss of light by pumping more gain into the image. That's why you might notice that the preview image sometimes can be a little bit more noisy. Apart from that, another application of the depth of field preview button is if you don't use the function that often, you can actually reassign a function to that button. It depends on your camera, of course, but I have the ATD right here and on the ATD I can reassign it to different functions like AF stop and start image stabilization and I can toggle between the different AF modes. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the depth of field preview button, that mysterious little button on the bottom of your camera. Let me know in the comment section below if this video was helpful. Let me know as well if there's something else you would like me to explain in a further explained series video. So that's pretty much it for today everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next video.